there is some misinformation that's circulating about canola oil. And one of our viewers wants to know if she should be concerned about the use of hexane in the processing of the oil and if she should avoid it. So I'm glad to get this question because there is misinformation. Canola oil is produced and refined much like many other refined vegetable oils. They take the seeds, they crush them, they press them, they often add some heat to the processing to extract the oil from the seeds. And in the process, hexane is a solvent that's used in the processing, but it is removed from the oil before packaging. They go through a process known as deodorizing, which is much like washing of the oil to extract and remove any um, hexane that might have remained. It's important to note that refined oils have to adhere to very strict safety uh, and quality standards, and that the use of hexane is approved by the Food and Drug Administration, by Health Canada, European Union, World Health Organization. So it's an, uh, uh, the process is safe and effective. And there have been decades of studies that show canola oil is safe and it's healthy. In fact, canola oil is probably one of the healthiest oils that we have, and I highly recommend using it. It has a higher smoke point than, say, something like olive oil. It's the least saturated um, of all the vegetable oils, and it has the most plant-based omega-3 fatty acids than in the other oils. So it doesn't have much taste uh, or odor, so it's great for cooking. So in my house, I usually use olive oil or canola oil, depending on what I'm preparing. But when I need to saute something and I want a higher heat, canola oil is my go-to. And I really feel very confident that the standards that are in place make sure that that's a safe and effective oil, and I think you can too.